Hey guys, I hope you all are doing fine. This is Dr. Simran and you are watching Dentistry. Here at Dentistry, we are posting videos on dentistry and dental related topics. If you find our videos useful, please do consider subscribing and click the bell icon so that you get updates whenever I post a new video. So today we will be talking about local anesthesia. So stay tuned. So today's topic will be local anesthesia. So how can we define local anesthesia? Local anesthesia can be defined as a transient that is short lived, reversible, it is reversible and is not permanent, loss of sensation in a circumscribed area of a body in a particular area in the body caused by either the depression or the excitation of the nerve endings or an inhibition in the conduction process of the peripheral nerves without the loss of consciousness. So, it is defined as a transient reversible loss of sensation in a circumscribed area of a body caused by either the depression or ex depression of excitation of the nerve endings or the inhibition of the conduction process of the peripheral nerves without the loss of consciousness. So, coming to now the pro what are the properties of an ideal LA agent. So, to remember this, remember instead. So, it should be non-irritant and produce no local reaction to the tissues. It should be not, there should be no permanent alteration of the nerve structure. Okay. So, there should be no systemic toxicity. The time of onset should be, it should have a rapid onset of action. It should be effective both topically as well as when injected. The duration of action should be sufficient. Other can be there should be no allergic reactions and it should be stable and undergo biotransformation in the body. Should not interfere with the healing of the tissues and should be compatible with the vasoconstrictor drug. This sh it should also not be expensive and most importantly it should be reversible. The religion should be reversible and it should be able to get sterilized. It should be capable of sterilization. So, we will now see the various theories for the mechanism of action of LA. So, first of all, we will see the acetylcholine theory. According to this theory, LA interferes with the action of acetylcholine and leads to conduction blockade. But according to this theory, acetylcholine is, is a neurotransmitter at the synapse and is also involved in the nerve conduction along the body of the neuron. We do know that acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter at the synapse but there is no such evidence showing that acetylcholine is involved in the neural transmission throughout the neuron. So, this theory can't be accepted. So, we will now come to the calcium displacement theory. So, according to this theory, when LA is given, LA is given, calcium ions are displaced from the nerve membranes. So, we will see that calcium ions gets displaced from the nerve membrane. These are responsible for controlling the permeability of the sodium ions and thereby leading to conduction blockage. But when the nerve was tested for various levels of calcium ions, it did not cause any change in the effect of the LA. So, this theory is also not acceptable. Then comes the surface charge theory. So, according to the surface charge theory, LA has some positive charge. LA is, has some positive charge. So, when the LA binds to the nerve membrane, okay, so what it does is it changes the electric charge on its surface and make it more positive, thereby increasing the threshold potential. Threshold potential is increased and thereby conduction blockade. But evidences have shown that LA does not interfere with the resting potential. LA acts within the membrane and not on it. And LA molecules of uncharged LA agents can also cause conduction blockage like bupivacaine. So, the next is the membrane expansion theory. So, according to this theory, LA diffuses in the hydrophobic regions of the membrane. So, LA diffuses in the hydrophobic regions of the membrane. So, when LA is administered, it diffuses in the hydrophobic regions of the membrane. Thus, 
reducing the diameter of the sodium channels and suppose this is the membrane this is the sodium channel the membrane after the administration of the la when it diffuses through the hydrophobic regions of the membrane the membrane will expand and this will lead to the redu reduction in the diameter of the sodium channels thereby preventing the sodium ions permeability it has been seen that membrane does expand and become more fluid after the administration of the la but there is no evidence of this expansion being the reason for the conduction blockage but anyhow this gives way for the next theory which is the most acceptable theory which is the specific receptor theory so what is the specific receptor theory according to this theory la agent acts by binding to the specific receptor on the sodium channel in the nerve membrane so this is the sodium channel and la agent will act by binding to the specific receptor on the sodium channel in the nerve membrane and this will lead to reduction in the sodium permeability so sodium permeability is reduced or completely eliminated and hence the conduction is blocked and this is the most accepted theory so by now we have discussed about the theories of mechanism of action of la coming to what is the mechanism of action of la by now we know that la acts by blocking the nerve conduction so before coming to how the nerve conduction blockage takes place we should have a basic idea of how the nerve actually conducts so in a resting membrane potential when the nerve is resting the nerve possesses a resting potential that is negative electric potential of minus 70 millivolt that exists across the nerve membrane that is the interior of the nerve membrane is more negative relatively negative than the exterior of the nerve membrane so when there is a stimulus there is a stimulus that excites the nerve there is a initial slow depolarization so there is an influx of sodium ions through the sodium channels when and this electric potential is now becoming more positive due to the influx of the sodium ions when the falling electric potential reaches a critical level extreme rapid phase of depolarization takes place and this and when this happens at the potential that this happens is called as the threshold potential or the firing potential at this phase the rapid depolarization occurs now there is a reversal of electric potential across the nerve membrane so now the net charge has now changed inside is more positive and outside is more relatively negative because of the influx of more and more and more sodium ions okay so this is how the nerve is conducting then this is followed by a phase of repolarization so we'll now see how the la actually blocks this conduction so what happens is the first of all there is a displacement of calcium from the sodium channel receptor site so there is the sodium channel receptor site to which the now the la molecule will come and bind to the specific sites right now as this la molecule is an unionized form so it can easily go through the phospholipid layer of the nerve membrane and inside there are h plus ions which will lead to the ionization of the la molecule now this la molecule which is now ionized will lead to the blockage of the sodium voltage gated channels so now the sodium voltage gated channels will be closed so there won't be any influx of sodium ions so sodium ions now cannot go inside so this will lead to the decrease in the permeability to the sodium ions then because of this there is a depression of the rate of electrical depolarization and failure to achieve the threshold potential so the threshold potential is now not achieved and lack of development of the propagated action potential there won't be any propagated action potential ultimately leading to conduction blockage 
so now the conduction blockade has taken place so that's how la blocks the nerve conduction so that is all about the mechanism of action of local anesthesia i hope you like this video and if you do please show some love by giving it a big thumbs up also share it to your friends to make their life easier as well and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more such videos and any kind of feedback is highly appreciated see you until next time thank you